Ali here at mindwavemeditation.com and I'm just uh, giving you a little behind the scenes of my day. I live in a small place in a beautiful area as you can see and I work from home these days. It's really great, I've got no complaints. Apart from the constant construction noise that goes on all the time, especially spring, summer, you know, people just get all the tools out and go absolutely mental for it. They absolutely love it. And we've had drilling for four months in our building and they're just drilling and doing all sorts of fire doors and it's just been, quite frankly, a pain in the ass, especially when trying to teach one-to-one -one lessons. I've had to do them all a lot later than, I, than I'd love to do. Um, I have to leave the house for my own mental health. You know, if I was stuck in that place, I, I literally, I don't know, I'd be all over the place. So I'm lucky that I'm around nature and I just come out into nature and film these videos. But I just wanted to give you a little um, sneak preview of what I'm dealing with behind, <laughs> behind these videos, just to kind of relate to you in a sense that we've all got something to deal with. Even the mindset coach who's giving out the good advice and information for mental health and to keep you sane and well, you know, this is how I'm dealing with it. And I want to show you a little clip of what I've just been dealing with. And it's all about one thing. It's about how you react or how you respond. So years ago before I meditated, crazy noises would happen. I'd be like, ah! What the hell? Who's that? What's going on? And now after meditating for so long, you realize that whatever happens, whatever's happening in the here and now, it just is what is. It just is. So before you even think about what you feel about it, how it angers you, how it annoys you, how dare they, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, it's God's day, <laughs> you know? People drilling on a bank holiday Monday, how dare they? You know, before all that, before you dissect it, analyze it, have your opinion on it, all of that, it is what it is. It just is. So when you come from this space, when you come down to it is what it is, then you come from a different energy, you come from a different space, a different state of mind. And what's happening there is you're not diving into the emotional story of the problem. And this is where the suffering is. When you're, the emotions get involved, that's where the suffering comes from. Unless, of course, I always have to say, unless something is physically happening to you right now, you know, shaking a dog if you like, <laughs> something like that, or a squirrel, um, more likely out here. But it's all about how we react and how we respond. So I just wanna show you this little clip where, I mean, there's noises everywhere. I literally cannot escape. In the past, I haven't been able to escape these noises, but now I'm hoping that things will change. That's a positive spin on what I was just about to say. I'm constantly surrounded by noise. It's, it's following me everywhere. So there's a bit of self-talk splashed in there for you. So watch the response of this noise-making episode. And it's calm it's collected and I'm just purely waiting for it to stop so I can stay in flow and just carry on. Instead of getting all in my head, getting angry and getting frustrated and annoyed. And the difference is amazing. It's still frustrating. It's still a nightmare. It's still all of the above, but you feel better. You stay in, in a better frequency. It's, it's a nicer place to be all in all. So check this out. No, we're not all here to be. Uh... Come on. Creatives with multiple projects on creatives with multiple projects on the go, you know, so
I'm doing a tip on mindfulness and meditation and I've just sat through about 45 minutes of noises. This is me losing my shit. Channel three, which is my band, I've written Saturday. So there you go. This is just one example of how meditation for me is incredibly useful. That is a perfect example of the byproduct of meditation is mindfulness in action. Noises are going on all around me right now. And I know that could be annoying for you and I apologize. But what's happening now because I've been meditating and I'm centered and I feel like I'm in my skin and in within myself, if that makes sense, that all this background noise that's just constantly going on, the squirrels, the trees, the cars, the drilling, all of this stuff, it's not affecting me. It's not getting in there. And it's the same in the back at home with the drilling it's there but if we pause and we just breathe and we just wait until the situation has changed then we can stay in a flow and we can not go into these levels of anger and frustration and then you know i had a friend who used to punch a wall when <laughs> when he used to get frustrated he's a drummer broke his wrist and it's like, well, yeah, that's what happens if you punch a wall. And so when our emotions get to that point of actually physically wanting to punch something, we've lost it. We've, we've, we've lost our consciousness right in that moment. We've, we've slipped into being unconscious. And, and I guess the whole point of this is being angry and reactive doesn't serve you, it doesn't help you, it doesn't help any situation ever. And I always like to say anger is only cool in the context of art, in, in the context of music, in the context of something where you, you're, you're explaining it and saying, you know, oh, this is, this is anger. And I love that about music because that's how I channel my frustrations and anger and, and anger at the world and all of that stuff. I channel it into something artistic so I can transmute that energy, all this up here, into something and I can allow it to flow through. Energy is never created or destroyed, it just moves. So we have these things that come up within us, these angry thoughts, these thoughts of frustration. And unless we channel them somehow through meditation, through art, through music, through dance, through laughing, through returning to the breath, to stillness, then life's just gonna be a hell of a lot more difficult. So let's start making life a lot more simpler for ourselves. Start thinking about meditation if you don't meditate. If you wanna work with me, I'd love to teach you. There's a link below. And, and if not me, choose someone else. Choose someone that's local to you or someone that you know and have that conversation. Start, go to one of those local classes. There's yoga, there's Pilates, there's uh, Qigong, Tai Chi, um, any movement, just something where there's people and it's good for you, you know? That channels it. That channels um, all of these things that we need to allow to process and, and, and work through us. And... I wish you well on your journey. Keep me posted and uh, let me know what you're working on down below. I'd love to keep this conversation going and I'll see you soon.